wins, no losses with five KOs. Levy Richters squaring off against a man making his glory debut, Tariq Kababes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here come the heavyweights. Sowieso de eerste plaats, daar ga ik natuurlijk voor. Iedereen die voor me staat wil mijn brood afpakken. Maar het gaat gewoon niet gebeuren. Ik zal mijn taal kapot maken. His nickname, The Tank, says it all. Full speed ahead. He told us Mike Tyson is his biggest inspiration, so I try and throw like he throws. Yeah, heavy hands and pressure. And he's also someone who knows tournaments well. In 2013, 2014, he's won two tournaments. He's got wins over guys like An uh, Anderson Braddock, Silva, Stoika. So he does have a lot more experience going into this fight than Levy Richters. A lot of excitement surrounding this man, Tariq Kababes, the tank fighting out of Morocco. And Joe, we know how passionate those Moroccan fans are as we've watched what oh, they yeah. do in Badr Hari or Jamal Bin Sadiq fights. Yeah, the, the, these Moroccan fighters just have that special energy behind them and they like to fight. They definitely like to fight and he's that definition of a nice Moroccan fighter. Well, we'll see how much he likes to fight because he could do it twice in one night yep. if he wins this one. Although Kababes is the underdog against Levy Richters. Here comes the judge, Levy Richters! Richters is really good with his kicks, his right hand. Those are the two big weapons. Loving those body rips, that shoe shine to the body. And that's it. The judge, jury, and executioner, Levi Richter.
Time for the second semi-final of the Glory 4 Man Heavyweight Tournament. Introducing first our fighter from the black corner. He holds a professional record of 46 wins, 6 losses, and 26 by knockout. His height, 6 foot and 1.84 meters tall. His weight, 235.4 pounds and 107 kilograms. Representing Morocco, introducing Tariq the Tank Kabe. His opponent from the white corner. He is ranked four on the glory heavyweight division. He holds a professional record of 12 wins, no losses, and six by knockout. His height, six foot six inches and two meters tall. His weight, 243.5 pounds and 110.7 kilograms. Representing the Netherlands, introducing, here comes the judge, Levy Richter. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds of three minutes, and the referee in charge of this match is Mr. Edward Strikert. Gentlemen, listen, fighting three rounds of three minutes. Yeah, when you say stop a break, you're gonna stop. Any questions? No questions. Toss gloves if you want. Back to your corners. The judge versus the tank. Levy Richters, it's almost been too easy for him so far, Judge. Joe. Let's see how Fine. he handles some adversity. Fight. And you know Kababez is going to bring it. Scheduled for three rounds, heavyweight division. Tariq Kababez in the black gloves. Right. Levy Stop Richters right. in the Listen. white. Fight! Ooh, you can already see the tank throwing that overhand. That's probably going to be his good shot with his left hook. Knee from Richters and that buckled Kababes for a second. Richters is throwing some bombs right back, trying to hold his head and mix those knees. Kababes just unloading to the body now. Break! Step back. Fight! You, know, you got to think, Richters, two finishes in his last tournament. He's got that finished feeling, so he wants to, to put Kababes out. Yeah, but Kababes, those body shots, they will pile on if he keeps throwing them. And especially being that shorter fighter, I like how he came in and chopped away at those legs. Right. You talked about Michael Grunhardt's knees. Right now, Levy Richter's throwing them from every direction. Yeah, and I like those scissor knees, too. Especially off of a right kick, right kick, and then throwing that scissor knee up the middle. Kabab is wasting a lot of energy. Well, you know, I, I watched this fight with Andre Stoika Kababes, and he did this for three solid rounds. This guy, the tank, has a deep reservoir. At least he did that night. Yeah, and I mean, look at that combination. He ripped a, a good overhand right, then he went down to the body. So that is that Mike Tyson style, body head, angles. The head kick there from Richters. There you go, Mike Tyson with low kicks. That's what it'll look like. <laughs> There's that range control from Richter. Stay long, pop the jab. Kababes comes in, meet him with a nice knee. You can see how tight Richter's is pulling those elbows into his body. And he's not blocking those low kicks, especially to the rear leg. And usually, if you're an orthodox fighter, your back leg isn't as conditioned. So Kababes needs to go back to it, keep going to it. I want to thank those of you tuning in here to hear the Glory 77. Those of you just joining us, we've been informed that this fight card will be available to be viewed for the next seven days. So you can go back and watch it as many times as you want over the next week. If you like those Richter's front kicks, when Kababes is far away, it's a front kick. When Kababes is close, it's a knee. Oh, and that uppercut got Richter's off balance. Good opening round here for Kababes. Pressure and power. Right. And I like how he uses those hooks. If he ends with the left hook, it's a right low kick. If he ends with his right hook, he goes to the back leg to the left low kick. So power hooks to low kicks.
As we look at our fighter profiles, here's Levy Richters. He is the, the judge. And the signature strike, the knees, he threw a lot of those at the early part of the round, but Kababes just kept punishing him to the body and kind of slowed his output. I mean, on top of being a good fighter, I was also impressed that he's a social worker at a homeless shelter. And he says, hey, even after the career, I'll be multiple-time world champion. I'm still going to do the social work. He's a nice guy. That's it. You know, Tariq Kababes, the Moroccan, the tank, coming in there trying to throw everything with bad intentions. Another good guy, a firefighter outside of the ring. Yeah, he's a firefighter in his home city of Den Haag. Tough, tough, tough round for him in this first, in this first fight for him. But Richter's trying to stay long, use the jab, trying to get those knees. But that scissor knee is just so nasty, and they, they were set up with good front kicks. Who do you think won that round? I don't know. I, I might have to say slight edge to Richter's, but I don't even know. I don't even know. I feel like the Fight. first part of the round definitely was Richter's, but then those body shots, the yeah. hooks to the body from Kababes started adding up. It's all about the, the damage, right? And those knees from Richter's, you know, did well. I mean, not confident in my answer. Well, the big winner of that round could have been Rico Verhoeven. He's going to love watching these guys slug it out. That right hand sends Levy down. Not enough damage. It's not a knockdown. But I'm going to tell you, Todd, one of the problems with throwing those knees against the power puncher is you get caught. And if you're trying to throw those knees in, as Kababes throws an overhand, you're in trouble. There's an old fight that this reminds me of, and it was Myrtle Grunhart versus Robin Van Roosmalen. And there are those body punches I was telling you about, Joe. Kababes with 19 landed. Yep, he likes that shoe shine. Rip, rip, rip to the low kicks. He's the shorter fighter. Hooks work well. Yep, that back leg low kick. I like that one for Kababes. Again downstairs. Good output. Output here from the tank. Yeah. Good research too, Todd. I thought he was gassing. Next thing you know, he's he's pushing Richter's back. It's Richter's that really slowed down. He's one of those guys that's always looking fatigued. Sort of like Frankie Edgar. His face is going to look like a car crash no matter what happens. But he's still coming forward. He's still putting things together. You can see Richter's waiting now. He doesn't have those long front kicks. The pressure's starting to add up. Maybe it's the experience. Kababes with that man's man type of style, and he just caught Richter's with a huge punch. Yeah, popped his head, snapped it up, and kept going. Which guy would you rather be right now, Joe? Well, I think I'm, I'd right. like to be Kababes, to be honest with you. Watch. I like the pressure. He seems like he's the fresher fighter. Let's see if Rutgers, or Rutgers rather, can stay disciplined, stick to his style. Ooh. Tried an ax kick. The one punch I am liking from Kababes is that uppercut, especially when Richters is shelled up like that. That's when you got to rip those uppercuts. From what you've seen so far, Joe, which one of these styles would give Rico the most trouble? Fight! Well, that, it, it's, honestly, I, I don't think either. I think Rico's just so good at being a pressure fighter and staying long. I just think that Rico has the ability to adapt to who he's fighting. Or Rico does his style so well that everyone else has to adapt. Good uppercut there by Levy. But again, the motor of Kababes does not slow down. No. And we asked Rico, I know Rico about Richter said the Prince. About Kababes, he said interesting. And definitely, it is interesting because look at that pressure he's bringing. He's now a little bit more intelligent, getting his head offline, avoiding those knees. And to beat knees, if someone's trying to attack you with knees, you beat them by getting your head right inside, using these inside combinations. And at this point here, Richter can't throw his knees, and Kababes can build up his points in his combinations. So Levy Rectors will see the third round for the first time as a glory fighter. His first two fights ended in the second round and the first round respectively. And both of those wins and knockout wins happened in a tournament. Stand here, please.
Fight! So here we go. This very well could be tied at one round apiece. Yep. That's kind of how I would have the score right now. 1-1. One, one. Richters may need to find that second win. Kababes is still on his first. Murray, step back. Right here. Fight! <laughs> Kabab has a swing and miss and almost turn and walk away and you think he's gassed and then he comes right back at you. Or he likes to throw his big punch and then fall inside and then keep throwing. Nice uppercut, a good flurry there from Kababes, who's showing us some dimension to his game, although he ate a knee there. Yeah, they went for one for one for shots up the middle. Uppercut versus knee. I think Rickers knows deep down he's got to win this round. Spinning back fist into the left hook for Richters. But again, Kababes is there. What a nice third round. Oy. Remember, one of these guys is going to have to fight Rico later tonight. Good luck. Yeah. Just fight the pound for pound best fighter in the world after going to war. But they will have two fights to get their win back, Joe. Two world title fights, so potentially about an hour to rest up. Kababes has zero care about Richter's knees. He's going to walk in. If he eats it, he does not care. He keeps going. Look at that. Blinking, get the sweat out of his eyes. Let's see, Richter's can follow something now. A minute 10 to go. Rick. They haven't had really many clinches at all either. It's been a stand up war. This has definitely been the, the round of the, the event so far. Rickers is fighting the and a wind up uppercut. How did Kabab has eat that one? Right. You can see the pain on Richter's face. This has been a battle royale, a jumping right hand from Richter's, and Kababes walks right through it. Whoa, what a shot, and there he is. You cannot put the tank Ray. down. He's thrown that watch double out. kick so many times. He put his hand on his hips, almost as if to say, what the hell is going on? He got him again. That pressure, that athleticism. <laughs> A new star perhaps being born here from Tariq Kababes just by the amount of pain he can absorb. Let's hope he saved that chin a little bit for Rico. But what a scrap. Rickers has hit him with everything he's got. That uppercut from Rickers. Whoa.
This is going to be... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of this contest. And this winner will go to the final of this four-man heavyweight tournament against Rico Verhoeven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner by the majority decision of the judges from the black corner, Tariq the Tank of There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Morocco celebrates. Badr Hari couldn't beat Rico. Do it in glory. Tariq, congratulations on your win, man. You showed everybody why your nickname is the tank. You were throwing bombs out there. Tariq, gefeliciteerd. Iedereen heeft kunnen zien waarom je bijna de tank is. Je was echt harde klappen in de Ja, klopt. Dat was gewoon mijn vechtstijl. Ik hou er niet van. Als je het publiek gaat kijken en denkt, ja. Waar zitten we te kijken? Laten we even een drankje gaan pakken of niet? Ik zorg dat ze puntje van hun stoel blijven zitten en dan mijn partij kunnen kijken. Yeah, that's just the way I fight, you know. I don't like uh, to wait and uh, fight on points. I want the audience to sit on the, the tip of the chair and, and enjoy an exciting fight. It was an exciting fight indeed. Is there enough fuel in the tank left to fight the king? Het was een moeilijk zwaar gevecht. Uh, heb je nog genoeg in de tank om uh, tegen Rico te vechten? Ja, ik heb Levi, om eerlijk gezegd, respect voor Levi. Ik heb een beetje onderschat. Maar hij is echt een diehard klokker. En voor de tank, ja, we gaan gewoon weer tanken voor, voor, Nico, voor Rico. Genoeg brandstof bij ons. Ja, yeah. yeah, a lot of respect for uh, Levi. Maybe underestimated him a little bit. He was tougher than he thought. But he's just, just going to refuel and uh, fill up the tank again and uh, be ready for Rico. Awesome, buddy. Congratulations and uh, we'll see you in the finals. Thank Post you.